It was late November, we're in Florida, and we have no reservations for January in Florida. And boy, were we surprised by Swanee River Rendezvous. Welcome to the channel, I'm Liz. And I'm Paul, and these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And we were a little scared in November when we had no reservations. We were in Florida and we had no reservations for January. And the reason why was because I'd had surgery and before that our dog died. So we were a little distracted. But as you can imagine, every campground was full in Florida. Yeah, I mean, you've all heard the stories about getting a campsite in popular areas like Florida in the wintertime. We were facing that because of the medical emergency that we went through. What, what, when did it start? October? It was the month of October, yeah. and then I had surgery in November, and I was recovering from that. And then, you know, we had a place to stay through January 1, and then we had nothing. Every campground we looked at was full. We lucked out and we got into Fort Wilderness for the first week of January. Right. But that was it. So I said to Paul, we need to start looking in North Florida. Just take what we can get and be grateful. So we found Swanee River Rendezvous in the town of Mayo in North Florida. And as we're driving, what did I tell you? It's probably going to be uh, a dive. I think you used scrape in the bottom of, bottom of the barrel. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what we expected, and we're like, let's just be grateful that we have a place because we're lucky to even find a place in January in Florida. Yeah, and we even talked to somebody. We mentioned that we were going to Mayo, and he said, what are you going there for? There's he, nothing there. He became concerned, and he's like, you may not want to go there. There's just nothing there. So we'll give it that. It's very remote. The campground, as you can see, we're standing at the campground. We're on the Suwannee River, so that is really sweet, and we were really surprised. One of the most unique things, well, a couple of the most unique things is number one, the pigeon races. The other thing they have that's quirky, one of the many quirky things actually I should say, is chicken poop bingo. So as we come down the road, we get greeted by what? <laughs> by, a, by a stuffed Dalmatian. It, it sees us and it greets us, which was really cute. And we knew this was not quite the normal campground when we saw other quirky things, like the sign that said, speed limit 10, that means you, Frank, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there was all other kinds of decor. So we want to tell you, we actually fell in love with the campground. So not only did we enjoy our stay, we came back for more. Less than a month later, we're, we returned at, at, for the time that we're here right now. And sadly, we're leaving tomorrow, but uh, we will be back at some point. We wanted to tell you about the campground because it's not typical. It is really fun and it, it's really a hidden gem. <laughs> Every yeah. Saturday, they have pigeon races. Yeah, you can, you can put, pick a pigeon, put $5 on him. They load them into the pigeon limousine and drive them two miles away and open the limousine and let them fly out. And the first one that gets back is, the, if you've got that pigeon, that's your winner. There's a first prize, second and third prizes. And then the last prize is the Pokey Pigeon Prize. It happens every Saturday, rain or shine or cold, right? Yeah, it was cold yesterday or on Saturday when they did that. Yeah, it's gonna be 70 degrees. When we stood out here, it was 55. I think it's probably 60 now. I'm actually warm in my sweater. So that is something, you know, the weather can be a little chillier, but not for long. So you may have a couple days of cold and then you're gonna be back up to 70 because, hey, it's Florida chicken poop bingo and so they have sort of a bingo card in the bottom of the chicken coop and where the chicken poops you're the winner so that's really cool too and that also happens every week they have live music karaoke trivia game that they um, they throw there's a game called show me the money that i haven't played so i can't speak to the rules of it that uh, it's very fast paced and, and uh, we're told it's very a lot of fun. And there's bingo too. So there's, there's a lot more going on here than yep. the typical thing. But then there's two very unusual games. And one is called Redneck Bowling. And <laughs> this is fabulous. I mean, it's just fabulous. Talk a little bit about what that is. It's a plywood alley. The bowling pin, of course, uh, the standard pattern for bowling pins. But what's different is each pin has a uh, an eye ring at the screwed into the top attached to a rope and when you knock them down you crank them back up and they even have a ball return where you just pull a lever yeah, you pull a pull a cable and it pulls a, a platform up but the ball is is 
gone into and and that drops the ball onto the chute and brings it back to you. Their and game. the other game is a foot pool. They're giant pool tables that you get on and you're kicking the pool balls, for lack of a better term. They're, they're about this big around. You're kicking them into the pocket. So a little bit of history, Convict Springs is here. So it's a natural spring on the property. The reason why it's named Convict Springs is back in the early 1900s, they had chain gangs, you know, prisoners that they would have work on the roads and clean up the river. And oftentimes it would get to be too late to take them back to prison. So they'd actually have them stay here on this property. And since I'm talking about the springs, yes, there is a natural springs here and the river. And you can rent canoes and kayaks and get out on the river and just enjoy all the natural beauty that's right here. There's a fishing pond where you no license required. Very it, nice pool complex. Yeah. This is the largest pool complex I've seen. So not only does it have a swimming pool and a hot tub, it has what they call a conversation pool, which is shallow and you can just Yeah, it's sit kind of a kind of a horseshoe style just a place to sit in the water and, and chat with your new friends. They also have a uh, mascot here, Charlie Girl. She runs this place. She's out wandering around on, usually on Saturdays. They, they let her out and to meet and greet anybody that wants to, wants to see her. Yep, oh, did we mention the restaurant? Grandma Susie's Cooking Shack. It's open on the weekends, I think Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, a very broad menu. There's 27 acres of campground. There's 136 sites. There's 36 tent sites and 21 cabins and rooms. The ones that we're up are all on full hookup. 50 amp. So in the future, they're gonna be adding 160 sites. This is on 25 acres. They are also gonna be adding another pool and a gym. It's gonna have, what kind of theme? Key West. They're gonna build a new pool complex down there. Not all of the sites, but the perimeter sites are gonna have their own individual dog park. We've only seen this once before, and that was in Nashville. They already have five um, existing dog parks, and, and one of them has an agility course in it, and uh, they're, they're very nice. We, we were over by them yesterday and watching some dogs running around, having a good time. This place truly is a hidden gem. I'm surprised that it's not always packed. Tell us about any hidden gems that you found out there. Yeah, we'd love to know, and we'll have to go visit. Mayo, by the way, has a claim to fame, which is what? They changed the name for a day to Miracle Whip. <laughs> if you're in the area, absolutely visit Suwannee River Rendezvous Campground. Even if you don't have an RV, there's, you know, tent camping as well as lots of cabins. So, and if, who knows, you may run into us again because we'll definitely be back. You know, you might want to take Charlie the pig out of that video. Why?